What's going on, everybody? Tyson with Garage Life here, and I got my Creighton 4S V2 here. And if you watched the last video on my Creighton, I snapped the chassis right here uh, on the lower part where the shock tower goes on top of the differential. So I am going to fix that today. I have a new chassis here uh, that I ordered up ready to go. So we're gonna go through this process and see how it all works. And I'm just gonna start with the way that I normally always do chassis, which is I flip them upside down and flip them upside down and start taking bolts out and hope it kind of stays together enough to where I can pop the new one on. So I'm just gonna start at the back here and kind of work myself forward with these bolts. ready to roll so that's the chassis swap on the Creighton 4S V2 all done and ready time to go out and see if we can break it again I mean hopefully not but you never know what is going on everybody Tyson with Garage Life here and I got my chassis changed on my Creighton 4S and I got it ready to roll I believe I guess that's something I should have tested I didn't test it I didn't even check if it was ready to roll I just packed it up. I think it's ready to roll. So while I'm pinning the body on, go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below. Are we gonna break the are we gonna break this today? It's a yes or no question. Answer yes if you think I'm gonna break it. Answer no if you don't. If you think this thing's gonna hold up to me or something. Uh-oh. My steering. What is wrong with my steering? Steering seems so weak. Something must have just been needing to get worked out. Oh! Oh, well that's a way to break the chassis. See, what happens when you drive vehicles back to back is you gotta get used to them a little bit. I am not patient enough to get used to them. I just like to send them. And so then things like that happen. But we look all good, I just pop the battery out. Oh. Because I, I pulled this battery tray right out. So let's see if I have a way that I can. Oh man, again. This is the second battery strap I broke on this thing. Those things are so jagged. Okay, so I broke this. This broke actually broke because there's the screw in the other piece so I wonder let's drive it back to the truck slow and see if I can steal a battery strap off of a different truck real quick and just double strap it in there guess we don't need the front piece uh, I do have fixed battery 
straps. I have a bunch that I just was waiting for these to keep breaking. I wasn't gonna go through and change them all before they broke. <sighs> but I have uh, Teflon, Teflon ones. So where do I have a battery strap that I can pull out easy? I think, I think the Max has a battery strap that I can easily pull out. And then we'll try to see once we pull this out. Now we have a battery strap. Let's see if we can go like. Down. Through there. We should be unless something's in there. Why are you not? Oh, there we go. And I think what I'm gonna do, so hopefully it doesn't break, and then I gotta put it the other way. Get in your home. Come on through there. It's trying. Come on. Come on. You just gotta get, oh, just a tiny bit more so I can grab it. Oh, there we go. Instead of going up right there where it breaks a lot, I think I'm just gonna go like this. We'll tighten this, on, this one up there. And then we'll just bring this one around the whole thing. Let's see if that lets us just hold the battery in tight enough to let us drive without breaking anything. Because, I mean, we only got to send this thing one time. We need to send it more than that, right? Only weakness I really see on this uh, Creighton 4S body is the front. When it crashes and lands, the shock tower smashes into the body. I'm sure we can fix that somehow. Okay. Time is it, 11.16? I got time. <laughs> Servo saver is garbage. I'm still waiting on somebody to tell me what servo saver they're using if they have an aftermarket one that they've had good experience with. Because you can see when there's weight on it, it's just pushing, just pushing. But it turns good when the wheels are off the ground. That's either a weak servo or a servo saver. And in this case, I'm going with Servo Saver. Yeah, because in the grass, it doesn't like really want to turn at all. Things stable and drivable. Love that. Very stable. Very drivable. Super fun. I did break the chassis once. And I think it was partly my fault. Um, the chassis is like 
all in one and just pop the wing out just pulled right out the chassis is like all in one and houses the diffs at the same time and then the hinge pins for the a arms go through and what i've been noticing is that like if you hit the front tire on something i mean it's putting all the pressure on the hinge pin which is the chassis connected through the chassis there's not like a separate diff housing that the hinge pin goes through it's all just right there on the on the chassis so that's what i broke must have hit my front tire just right or something and it's smash the chassis right there but other than that i feel like this thing is from what i've done with it and had and this is i guess i don't even know how many runs but i mean i'm sending this thing And I can tell you what I've broke the most on it is battery straps. I have broken two battery straps for this thing now. But like I said, I have Teflon ones. Kevlar ones, sorry, not Teflon. I have Kevlar ones. And I also will be selling Kevlar ones on the website soon uh, because I believe in them so much. They don't break. They're just awesome. And I think for me, like, I don't know, maybe this thing will break chassis more than the Outcast V2 because it's a little bit longer. But this is my style of truck right here. This is just my style. I love it. Love how light it is, how agile it is. It can still wheelie. It's but it's so handleable. Handle handleable. And flies and what? Yeah, like. The A-arms seem beefy out of that big hit that broke the chassis. The pin was still perfectly in the A-arm. And I've just nosed it quite a few times right here. And I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a crack or dirt. Might be a crack. I don't know. Could just be where it slid off the... The ramp because i got a couple of those on here i think i just unplugged the battery yeah and then you got these stupid ass ic5s that just break they just break like freaking mad i always am breaking these ic5s and i keep saying in all my videos i'm switching everything to ec5 i'm switching everything to ec5 and i am it's a slow process but I am switching everything to EC5. There's my water bottle friend that's been in every video today. Oh my gosh, it's like it is, the ground is so soft, just a tiny little bit of a wrong landing and it's just killing me. Killing me, Smalls. Just killing me. And then we unplug again because these stupid ass battery connectors. <clears throat> All right. It just tells me I gotta fix those things and land better. I'm just gonna have to land with. A little bit more rear, I guess.
little bit more rear. The wing pulling out is my fault. I just keep trying out different wing mounts that I'm designing because I like color. I don't think anything's wrong with the stock one. It looks pretty beefy, but I like color and they seem strong. Like the way the, the wing mounts on seems really good in the shop. And then you get out here and you stick it into some tough ground, but that's why we test them. And it's not meant to be a stronger wing mount and it would never even be sold like that. Cause I think the stock one is super strong. I've never seen anybody break them. I think it just gives you a customization for people that like color and customizing their rigs. And I think that's you know, it's kind of a fun part of the hobby. I mean, for me, I like fashion like this and jumping and fixing but I also like wrenching on them that was almost a ball buster I like wrenching on them customizing them doing things to them I mean how many times how many times do we uh, put parts on that are an air quote upgrade when we didn't even break the first part in the first place? We're just trying to bulletproof it or we just want to do it because it might make it perform better. It's just part of the hobby. And it's kind of something I enjoy. I really enjoy customizing them and doing things to them that you want to do. But I mean, realistically, again, look at these landings, look at this truck and what I'm putting it through, I honestly cannot say anything bad about this Creighton 4 SV2 other than the servo or the servo saver sucks, which I think is the servo saver. Uh oh and um other than that like I th I, i'm not a big fan of the design of a couple aspects of it but and that would be like how the a-arms connect to the chassis um something sounds bad so i think i did break something well i know i messed the center brace up Oh, I snapped that whole rod right off. So if I did that, I mean, that has to mean like it had some hard flex, right? And snap. But I think uh, we did something to the motor, mainly because I heard a weird sound right before the battery came unplugged. Yeah, so I think it's time to give her a break Looks like uh, the screw is pulling out a little bit between the body mounts, putting too much pressure on, and just kind of pulled through. Not a big deal, I don't think. Um, but I did break the center brace, which is interesting. So if you voted yes, I was gonna break it. You're right, I broke it. I snapped the pin that's in there right off. So we'll drive this back to the truck. We'll call it a day. Pretty darn fun though, and held up pretty well. I never imagined I'd break the center brace, so. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for checking it out. I love each and every one of you.